Onivia, League of Legends highlights. Uh, for Olaf, so I'm really curious to see what we're actually gonna get. He's hovering over a lot of interesting picks and then settles on the opposite of those interesting picks, going okay. with the tried and true, the Gnar. Um, Moose Speed, just so important, yeah, in this kind of matchup. You know, you aren't playing to really dominate. You're playing to kind of neutralize in a lot of these cases, but TL now maybe setting up for the dive here. Spell Shield's used. They do not have an ulti on the jungler. They do not need it. Kill comes through. Core JJ oh. will not die in time to get the bailout, and it's... Have control of that top side. You know, Bjergsen got pushed mid. Hoon is moving down, but that means Whippo is going to be behind him. Yeah. Uh, Whippo taking some pretty big chunk here, though. Hoon's about to transform, so Whippo steps back. Whippo doesn't win But that. he can't, yeah, he can't hide inside the brush. Hoon throws him oh, back. Oh, what? nice sidestep on the wallop. Now Whippo has to turn berserk. He's looking to take Hoon down. Hoon barely gets away thanks to Blue, but Skarner's Stinger finds Exu, and he has to flash over the wall trying to get away. Santorin continues the chase. He marks him with the stun, oh. but he can't deal the damage. Ex All your angles, and then they flash over the wall. They wrap around behind you. Can be very, very difficult. Here comes Santorin. Expecting that he will look towards this bot lane play. Only three plates remaining on that yeah. bot tower. You can see XU is in the area. Bjergsen looking to get aggressive, though. Oh, Blue. He's got to be careful about this one, man. Bjergsen is on the hunt. Oh. Blue, he even wastes the flash. Bjergsen. And you die anyway. Yep. Because now it's it's like a death and a half. Because now the next one's so much easier to get. Yeah. I mean, you just call your jungler bid and you, you ult flash, right? Like, Bjergsen yep. has his flash. Blue used Ignite and Flash and still died, and now they're wrapping around on him here. Yep, just pull him on back. There's nothing to it. Sets it up perfectly with the Rakan, too, yep. so they can chain the CC. Blue's got no it's way in. More reserved early game. You know, Teal has had some really, really aggressive early games. They've been one of those kind of super and fast consequence of interrupting the back, making it so that he could not recall when he wanted to. And Team Liquid just keeps lining up these dying I'm, you said give, it's I'm time giving for my, Skarner I'm back. giving my homie <laughs> his time to shine here. It's not that often you get a Skarner game. I know. So it's I'm not. just going to ask you. I really like watching One Tricks for is is you you find these little mechanics that people have really put in tons and tons of games on a champion and they figured it out right. Mm -hmm. And that's something that's so valuable anytime you're picking up a new champion. And a lot of top pros will tell you that they actually go to One Tricks when they're learning a new champion as well. Yeah. Because they can save you so much time with these little tricks that can win you games, that can win you fights, right? And this is one of them right? Uh, for, for those those Skarner one tricks out there. It's one of those things where it's like, why would you want to put in the 200 games to notice this one little thing when you could ask a guy who's already done it as Core JJ goes in and finds the knockup, but there's no backup to immediately guarantee any more damage. Spawns at two thirds and walking away while Whippo and Santorin are making the kill happen underneath the tier two. They'll walk oh, around the and now they're coming in for the flank. Uh -oh. They gotta be careful. Team Liquid is caught out of position and Whippo and Santorin will fall. Dig, get a bit of a turnaround. Yeah, they're going deep Not for that. Ulties, anything like that. But Team Liquid still has a 5,000 gold lead. The Drakes are one to one. Dignitas was at least able to stop a stack in that regard. Mm -hmm. As now Santorin just immediately going for the grab onto XU in the chain CC. Team Liquid perfectly layers it, makes it so there's no way for the Monkey King to drop the clone and try to get out. Yep, no shot to escape from that one. Bjergsen pushing up on that top side against a lot of these range champions. You know, not only does it have uh, that 40% active slow, you know, anytime you're dealing physical damage, you get 20, 20 move speed, right? So you're getting a lot of extra move speed to have that sticking power onto these slippery champions. Uh, because that's exactly what they need. They need to get those initial kills, otherwise the fights can get tough. Boon here. Oh, Torin and Core JJ and Bjergsen, man. There's no way out for Biofrost. They'll pick him up easy as bottom side. Whippo versus Hoon. Hoon transforms as Whippo runs out of mana and runs out of his ultimate deal. Everybody else just hanging out here. Do you think Skarner looks more or less ferocious when he's going faster? Because like, kind of has those little feet. He's just scuttling yeah, really, really fast. In this enemy of... jungle, they'll take the Skarner Spire. They'll place down the. Oh, vision. look at him go! Critter, critter, sneaky critter, get over here! Nice kill. See, menacing. That was very menacing. I'll give you that. That was <laughs> one fast bug. Gets in there, grabs the Nar, takes him down. Man, all that move speed stacked up. Trellia pop, Siverall pop. In goes the chem tank as well. He is zooming in there. And they knew that the flash was down because of the yep. 1v1 with Whippo in the bottom lane previously. There so they goes can again. guarantee that that's happening as they still have to wait a little bit more before they can make another Skarner ult play, but they've got the damage. They need him to take down the Baron. As long as he's got eyes on XU, they know yep. that there won't be a smite steal away Whoop. from this one. Siver ult is just going to be used to get Santorin back to the pit, guarantee the smite.
stopwatch in the inventory, so it's hard to do anything back. Flash ulti coming out from Santor, and Spawn's gonna be pulled in. Won't be killed off just yet. Team Liquid uh -oh. lose two. They didn't go in with enough of their guys. They were too overconfident and did get the punish. Now they'll try to find Whippo here as well. Blue brings down the wall to buy enough time for everybody else to close the gap. Dignitas need to bring everybody to this party. Whippo is good a very steps. strong Viking. He's doing a good job <laughs> stepping away from me. Oh my God, he's just walking oh, away goes. from him. 1v5, Whippo! He won't get the kill because of the bailout. Next time. <laughs> yeah. Five and you're using the bailout. <laughs> Meet me in the Baron pit, bro. Yeah, 1v1. Let's see how good you guys do. 4v1. Let's yeah. see how you just do. Just delete Core JJ. Gets hit by the Renata ult. He just absolutely obliterated him. And now uh, it is Dig starting up the dragon here. Hoon is charging up the Narbar. Does have TP. Do they have a flanking ward? There's one over by the ramp up. They're just going to TP straight in on this. Okay. But now they're kind of in an awkward spot because they're kind of zoned out away from their base. Core JJ is flanking and they're going to TP in the Olaf. They're going to look for a fight here. They found Biofrost here at the start. Handshake's going to buy him a moment to get back with the rest of the team. Bjergsen and Han Sama got to be careful. The carries are alone. Oh, Hoon didn't know the damn thing. Now he's going to be pulled right back into Team Liquid's arms. He's dead. XU's dead. Biofrost is dead. And Spawn and Blue are running into the wrong jungle on the wrong They're side of the map. They're between a rock and a Skarner. Oh, and Skarner might have the range of a rock, but he's a lot scarier. <laughs> Get in there, Skarner. Whippo's going to run him down with Ragnarok. Spawn jumps over the wall. He'll keep try going, to keep Skarner. You can do out. it, bud. Get him, Skarner. Bjergsen's in the enemy base. He's going to take this one out together with Hans. Nobody should be able to respawn in time to stop it. They don't have the Baron anymore, but who even needs it? Spawn's just running away from everybody else back towards his own base. Skarner will catch him by the time he gets a rework. <laughs> what is this yakety sax chase sequence? <laughs> get him, get him, Santorin! Spawn's trying to get away. Renata Alti comes out. Bjergsen going in. Alley oops him straight back him. into the wall. Biofrost likely to die here first, but Spawn's not going to drop in time. <laughs> Team Liquid takes the game in 30 minutes. Oh, it's a stop, TL. Looking so strong here today.